Hey guys, Synergy here, and I've left the loading screen on just to explain a few things for you. And basically, we're going to get into this gameplay, and it's going to be a hard point domination gameplay for you guys. So, what we're going to do is we're going to talk you through exactly what we're doing. Obviously, you've got points A, B, C in hard point domination, and I'm going to show you how to effectively hold down the C flag. And what you're going to see in throughout the game, guys is basically players coming at me, coming at me, coming at me and eventually giving up and that's just a one man defence guys so what they're going to do is they're going to keep attacking me and I'm basically going to own them <clears throat> and so this is going to be a bit of a tutorial on how to play domination on big okay, site for you guys and uh, just some defensive tips for you, what you need to keep doing and things like that. Um, obviously there's experienced players and then there's players who are still learning at the moment. This is more intended for the players who want to improve their game, who may feel that maybe they're not as skilled as other players for example and they want to reach that level. So all this is is to basically help them learn. You can see I just get taken out there. One of the main things that you want to think about is it's hard point domination. The objective is obviously to get those flag caps, uh, not the flag caps, to get those hard points just locked down for you. So you can't be worried about dying, guys. It's not a KD game. It's nothing to do with kill death ratio. It's about playing the game type and absolutely dominating it. So as you can see there, we've got A and we've got B. B's being taken by the opposite team, but we've got C contested at the minute. Now you can see I'm just moving around. That allows me to find that human player there. He's just coming up. We're going to drop him straight to the face. And this is exactly where they're going to end up attacking me as well. You can see that they're just locked down B. Now B on dig site is an area that you don't want to be too primarily focused on. Because if you do focus on B, you're going to get a lot of satchel charges in there. You're going to get a lot of arc grenades. Basically, you're going to get spammed every sort of ordinance that you can find. Okay. So I'm going to show you exactly what I mean when I am attacking B, for example. There you go, grenade already. So we're into the neutralizing plane. We got contested and we just get shot in the back there. That's a very nice kill. Well played to the guy. All I'm going to do here is I'm just going to move across. And I'm actually going to attack C now. Now you can see exactly how this is going to work for you guys. So basically they've got B dot down. Unfortunately I do have a player following me at the minute. We just lost Charlie. Right, so they're taking down B at the minute, we're going to take out this huge pilot in the middle area and we're just going to help to capture this point at the minute. What eventually I'm going to do is I'm just going to lock down C as a solo defensive unit. And that's when we get into the bit of the tips and tricks for you guys. See the auto titan picks up the kill on a very smugly. I'm not sure what that means. Got about 25% we're moving on to the rodeos, we're just going to damage the tank a little bit, but with the rigging in the smoke, we're not going to worry about that. Right, so this is where we move into the sea flag, you can see we're neutralising right now, and we're just going to use these little bit of wall glides as well, and we're going to end up using a bit of wall hanging into the corner, because they'll have to find us, you can see the pilot right there, the right hand side, and we'll take out a very smug leaf, so that's the first pilot that gets taken down. And then we're going to switch our corners up. So the rule of the game is basically you don't want to stay in the same position as you did previously, guys. You can see we've got contested. Just going to see if we can put this guy down. There he is. I'm going to take him out. He's a very small leap. He comes back for revenge. Unfortunately, he plays in my favour. Download complete. And we got contested again. We're going to take out the pilot right here. He's smuggling for a third time in a row. And then we've got a guy behind us. That's actually counting, so that was his human player. Forgive me mistaken on that part. We do have contested again, and he's right behind us. He's going to be 360 kill there, so we've taken out smugly for the fourth turn. This guy just won't give up. <clears throat> so we've got C secured. 198 points to 98. 
contested. You can see the human pilot right over there and it's smuggly for game. Okay, so we still got contested, so there is another pilot in here. You can see a wall hanging there, and this time we take out John Bieber. Or Bever, whatever you call it. Sounds like a Justin Bieber wannabe. Okay, so you've seen the pilot at the bottom of my screen there, and you see one right here, so you can take out John Bieber again. And we're just keeping on the move, keeping him thinking, where am I? Where am I? Where is I? Where is this guy? we got to kill him. Okay, so we got contested yet again. Just being careful about where I'm going. Now the question is, where's the pilot? There's the pilot, and we'll take out John Bieber for a third time in a row. So basically we have two pilots attacking us. You'll notice that the first original pilot hasn't come back in to see. So we basically give up on attacking me, which was a very smuggly. All I'm going to do here is I'm just going to wait on the outside for a bit. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for that C flag to be taken. Unfortunately, I accidentally picked the profile right there. You see B's being taken, but my job's going to be solely onto C. And I'm just going to rely on the enemy, oh, sorry, on my team to lock down A or B. And I'm just going to hold C for as long as I physically possibly can. And you can see they won't attack me at the minute. But they know exactly what's been happening, as you can see through the previous part. Now we am actually waiting on the outside, because if it does end up contested, and I can see it counting down, I've got a nice viewpoint from the outside there, and it's very rare that somebody will come from that side. See on the scoreboard there? This is where I do end up a little bit bored guys because obviously they give up on attacking me and they focus their attention towards B and A. So what I decide to do is just play a little bit, have a little bit of a hanging around session because that's one of my challenges that I needed to finish up. So I'm just going to keep going onto the wall and eventually I might actually get some more action for you guys. Well, unfortunately, I can't help it. Oh, C's been taken or is it? Have we got contested? Yes, we've got contested. Oh, we're being shot. Okay, so we actually got a hit marker, but the team actually picked up the kill on that one. Just checking around for any sort of spawns. Well, this is a quite a good area to use, I'm just using that as a little example. You can get both sides right there. Um, the only thing is with this particular area, say if I'm looking down the left side and they come from the right hand side, they can pretty much take me out in the back side right easy there. The lava is a pretty cool effect on the dig site as well as you can see here. I believe it's like a molten rock lava type thing. Um, we're just going to finish off on our hanging around achievement. So we're just going to hang around on random rolls every now and then. Unfortunately, like I said guys, they do completely give up on attacking me at sea. And I think that's just because I did such a good job of defending it. Okay, so my Titan's actually been right, taking a bit of damage there. Awesome um, we have picked up the victory guys, don't forget if you did like this little tutorial and stuff like that, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel for plenty more videos for you guys. Every little helps even when you share my videos or anything like that, you can see the pilot there. We were going to take him out but our teammates are already on the case and I kill myself with the saw. What a way to end the gameplay guys, by not recognising there was an actual saw there. <laughs> and yeah, basically killed myself. Oops a daisy. And we're just going to show you from a different perspective right now. <laughs> Boss monster rejected. And that's the end of it. Peace out.